When you first step foot on the plains of Scorched Earth, there is one creature that you're always glad to see, and they spawn quite common as well. It is the Jug Bug. Now, the water one more than the oil one, but the water one is a hero for the new survivors on Scorched Earth because they are the glimmer of hope that give you the water when you're dehydrating. Now, although they're not tameable, they are still very useful. So sit back, guys, relax, and let me show you how you can use the jug. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just want to make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes and face the blast. Sleepless nights and headaches stand. Restlessness to heal the back. What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack. And sometimes you just gotta believe. Welcome back, guys, to the channel. And today we're going for a jug bug that's right a jug bug that you can't actually tame so we're not taming them we're going to actually capture one today just like this guy here you can see we've got an oil jug bug already captured and everything like that oh let me stand here so he doesn't get out <laughs> and shut that there we go i'm going to shut that just in case because he tries and escapes i don't want him to escape so we've got two sides we've got the uh, the oil one in here we're going to get the water jug bug in here so all we need to do is find one now there is two types of variants for the jug bug one is the oil one and the other one is the water one and you can tell the difference because the oil jug bugs are red and the water ones are blue pretty common sense to be fair and all you're gonna need to capture one of these one is obviously a structure to uh, hold them but also we just need a crossbow doesn't matter what quality or anything like that and some grapple hooks that is literally it so location of jug bugs pretty much everywhere but the mountain areas these guys literally crawl over this place i don't think anybody's going to ever have a problem with these hey guys look what i got i got flaming arrows these are awesome they kill loads of things pretty cool just set them on fire and we just watch him burn Yay! I feel like a primal hunter now. Go burn some stuff. There we go, guys. So, I've literally, my base is literally up there. And this is how common they are. Look, you can see they're everywhere. We've got uh, some oil ones, and there's the blue one that we want. There we go. Let's take some oil. Uh, you can tell as well how much oil they're going to have by how big their pouch is. So, that one was quite small, and we got three off. Whereas that one looked like quite big, so that probably would have got a lot off of that. And we've got our water one here. So what we're going to do is swap our grapple hooks out. Now we've had our fun burning things. And what you need to do is hit them when they're walking. So when they're on land. And also we don't hit the pouch. We hit the actual jug bug itself. Like So if not, you will miss it. And now all we've got to do is just drag it back to our base. Come on, little guy. And once we're there, that's when we can start the struggle of getting it actually in the taming pan. Where's my base? I'm lost! A few moments later. Okay, so we're in now. All we need to do is um, I'm going to slack the line a little bit, get in here and pull him in. It's a bit hard to do. It might even be worth got an idea letting it slack a lot like this and then slowly pulling it in there we go and then shut that there we go we've got it and now obviously i've kept this top bit uh, because they the it's harder to get them in if you already have it built up so now we've got it built up there we go and you can see we've got our two jug bugs and what I might do actually is place a window in these so that I don't have to keep opening the door and I can just sort of reach through and get it. So let's go and try and do that. There we go. We've got a window here. So now we don't even need to go in. We can just... Oh, come here. We can just get up here, drink, and we're done. Now let these... Uh, Drink some more. He's, he's completely depleted because I keep using him. So, we've got our jug bugs all secured now. 
The only thing we need to do is, if we ever do open these, we need to make sure that we uh, we stay in the doorway. Because the second you move and they get time, take some oil. We've got two. So you can see by this guy, his, his pouch is very small, so he's empty, obviously, at the minute. But that will grow the more he fills up. And with our water jug, you can see he's quite full. We've got unlimited supply now of water and, obviously, oil. Now, with them not being tamed, the only downside is these potentially could despawn. Yeah, just despawn, basically, when you go out of render distance or anything like that. And it's it kind of sucks, but that's okay. It just means that we'll quickly grab another one and we'll get them up. And as you can tell with junk bugs, they're always level one. So they're very easy to kill if you do want to kill them. Now, you might ask, why would you kill them? But there's a perfectly good reason. Now, be aware that if you do, if I, as soon as I shoot one of these guys, all of them in the area are going to flee. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take you. So, we've got a water jug bug here. And if we just go and light him up. Oh my god, he's, he's alive! Oh, oh, he survived. Okay, normally they're just like, one and done. But this one wants to stay alive there we go got him again maybe it's because i'm using fire there we go we got him down we got him down i'm sorry mr Jugbug. now with the water ones when they're dead we can still drink from their bodies but the main thing is the hatchet we're just going to use to get some chitin and that'll be perfect now it's a little bit different with the oil bugs because these actually have a benefit if you don't drain them and you shoot them and kill them There we go. So we've we just killed this uh, this oil jug bug, and we can go in its inventory and actually collect the oil itself, like so, and also harvest it for some meat and everything else that we need. There we go. We've got another one. Oh yeah. So there we go. We've killed it. Access its inventory. Sixteen oil. Nice as well. They're so easy to kill. Obviously, the flamed arrows must do a bit less damage because they're not killing instantly. But there we go, nine. And you can see this is how you can get a lot of oil. If you don't want to wait for one to just keep refilling its sack up with oil or anything like that. So, when you're a beginner, this will be very handy to have a jug bug on hand, especially the water one. But obviously, as you get more in the game, you get like water and wells and things like that. So you don't really need these guys. But these are absolutely vital at the beginning of the game on Scorched Air because you're just so dehydrated all the time. And these jug bugs are everywhere. So these are the lifesavers. So if you are building your base somewhere out where there's no water wells or anything like that then capture a jug bug and you've got unlimited water so guys that has been it for me i know it was a quick one but i was just showing you the importance of jug bugs and their role and how handy they can be captured dead or alive pretty darn good to have one that are alive you are coming with me so if you did like the video don't forget to like subscribe and share really helps me out massively and i'll catch you all hopefully in the next video if you're still around we're broken it's tragic we're not all elastic but maybe there's magic believe you could have it and i know of sadness the anxious and panic the